Recently, I dusted off my Sega Dreamcast and have enjoyed playing some games on it. This has led me to make some upgrades and modifications to it over the past few weeks. Let's go ahead and get started with my latest maintenance. I have my Dreamcast here that I have modded and installed a GDMU on as well as replaced the power supply. One of the things that I talked about was replacing the silicon thermal pads. So I have ordered those on Amazon. I have a package here of silicon thermal pad 30 pack. They're actually designed, I believe, for NVIe SSD memory. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just cut them down to size. There's a few in here, dif different thicknesses. So I'll see what thickness actually was used here previously, and then go ahead and cut these ones to that size, that same thickness. I purchased these thermal pads from amazon.com. I will go ahead and post in the description below an affiliate link. Let's go ahead and disassemble here. Okay, now I have it apart. So these are the, the existing thermal pads. So let's go ahead and peel those back. And save those here for the side. And then I will cut the new ones to that size. Also, I have already taken this apart at one point. Um, let's lift it out. On the back side, there were some thermal pads here. Here's, here's one that was there that were on these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut and put some on these two so that they hit up against this plate and then also produce some thermal conduction. So here, some of these, I think it was this one and this one that had it. Those are two heat things. So let's take a look here. So the thermal pads that I have are here and let's just match the thickness. So there's three sheets of different thickness. If you can see the different thickness. So the first pad for the bottom here, let's just go ahead and measure up. It's a little bit thicker than that one. It matches that one and it is not that thick there. So let's do the center one here. And get some scissors and we'll cut a corner of the same size here. And then we'll cut this in half. Peel back the uh, sticky tape here a little bit. We'll go ahead and stick the first one on right there. And peel back. First one. There's the second one. Take a tweezer out here and just see if I can pick off a little piece right there. Now we can flip this over and install, boom, it's on there. I have some IPA here. I'm just gonna clean that off with a Q-tip. And same for that.
And also on the back side here, we can do the same thing. This goes in just like that, but it looks like these two pads are what hit, what touches this. Let's check our thicknesses. That looks the same again. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll take the smaller one. That one looks like it'll fit exactly. So I'm just going to put it right on there. Let's put this one on here also so we know we're at. We're gonna have plenty there, so go ahead and cut. Second one here. and then we'll cut this piece. Looks like it's gonna be just a little bit bigger than what these strips are, but that's okay. I'll just cut right through it. Don't think that's gonna make any difference. And there you have it. Let's put the heat spreader on. What it looks like. Oh, it's just ground. I see. And install our screws. And there you have it, a successful thermal pad replacement on the Sega Dreamcast. After getting it hooked back up to my TV, I played Cannon Spike for a couple hours and I didn't notice any issues. 
I feel better knowing that I have brand new thermal pads on my Dreamcast, which will last for many more years to come. Thanks for watching this video and let me know in the comments below if you think these kinds of maintenance tips really make a difference on the lifespan of the Dreamcast.